Hi, and welcome to the Beer Temple. I am Chris Quinn, and today I've got two beers that I could not decide which beer to do a show on. They are two IPAs that are very new to the Chicago market, very new to my store. I've had them for less than 24 hours at this point. And another thing that kind of caught my eye is they both have this very interesting grayish blue color scheme, which I thought it was unusual for two new IPAs to hit my store and have that same kind of color thing going. Uh, so I decided to do them both. Long story short, nobody really cares what I'm talking about. Um, they want to know about the beers themselves. Uh, first one is a collaboration from uh, two breweries in the Chicago area, Half Acre and Three Floyds from Munster, Indiana, which uh, is just over the border, uh, you know, half hour from most parts of Chicago. Uh, this is the third year that they've done this beer. This is called She Wolf uh, IPA. Uh, clocks in, I think, I don't know, 7 8%, something like that. 7.8 and uh, the other is this stochasticity stochasticity uh, grapefruit IPA uh, from Stone Brewing is really who is is making this. There is no mention of it. Uh, kind of an interesting project. They have not been hyping it too much. I think it's kind of a second label, if you will. Uh, it's something where Stone is talking to some of their employees there and just getting some ideas, some kind of more fun little one-off side projects to do. And uh, this is the first, it's called Grapefruit Slam IPA. From what I understand, it's basically a variant of their double IPA ruination with grapefruit peel added to it. I tried to find out if that's exactly the right, and it seems to be. Uh, they are exactly the same alcohol content. I think the hopping might be slightly different. This has Chinook, which I believe Arrogant Bastard has a lot of Chinook in it, but, but uh, Ruination doesn't. Um, but after that, it says uh, it's got a Centennial Chinook, Chinook and Magnum. Um, and then they dry hop with uh, Centennial, which I think is exactly what they're doing with Ruination. So uh, I've got some baby food sticking to my shirt here. Um, it's nice to be back in the house. I kind of like it. Uh, so anyway, yeah, uh, double IPA uh, coming in and I believe 8.2% alcohol. So I guess both of these are probably technically double IPAs. Um, and I don't know, just want to give them a shot. Uh, I'll start with the She-Wolf uh, from Half Acre. This is the third year that these guys have uh, done this beer that I'm aware. Uh, every year the label changes, which is kind of cool. And uh, they don't say a lot about it. I could easily see this beer being one where the recipe changes each year. Uh, I think in general, uh, what they say is it's uh, they, it's like a stripped down beer. They don't have a lot of crazy different malts and hops. To me, it sounds like that may then be a single malt, single hop beer, a smash beer. Uh, not sure if that's the case, and I don't know what malts and hops they are using. Uh, but it is very light colored, a light golden, fairly clear, not super brilliant, but pretty darn clear. Um, man, it, to me it smells like there might be some Nelson in there. I don't know. I really want to find out uh, what beer, uh, what, what hops are in here. It's got a really fruity citrus note to it, but it has that pungent oniony note to it as well. Now, some of these hops, as they are used in different quantities or as they start to age a little bit, can start putting off more of a certain aroma. So even if something is Simcoe and Simcoe tastes like this, maybe as it ages, it starts putting off some different flavors. Uh, hop aromatics and flavors are very, very, not even misunderstood, not understood. That you know, There's really very little information out there. Um, really nice though, big and bright. And there is that just tang of onion in there for sure. 
which I've been picking up on a lot of IPAs lately that I, I haven't been. You know, I think my palate now is just really kind of in tune to kind of look for those things. But aside from that, um, big kind of peachy notes to it. Uh, certainly some, some grapefruit and like a yellow grapefruit, you know, like a more bitter grapefruit. Thank you, Max. Mm, yeah. Um, and almost like a petroleum thing, this onion thing that I was talking about. Like a gasoline or petroleum note to it as well. Not, not in a negative or bad way or an overly alcoholic way. It's not coming from the booze itself. It's this aroma coming from the hops. Very light-bodied, very you know, aqueous or watery. Um, you do get a, a slight, you know, like cereal grain note to it. Um, the bitterness really does not come through until the end, and then it's a nice kind of clean, gently growing bitterness. Uh, it is very much about the aroma and flavor hops here, and they are following through on the nose uh, very much so. So you do get some of those um, citrus fruits, a lot of, of bitter uh, gold grapefruit, and some of that you know petrol note. Um, a hint of sweetness there. I mean, it's very clean and very light, uh, but it's not bone dry. There is just a hint of kind of a, a malty sweet touch to it. Um, you know, like they're saying, a very stripped down IPA slash double IPA. Solid beer though, you know, I'll go 91 with it. Super fresh too, which doesn't help when you're using, oh, it doesn't hurt when you're using uh, a whole lot of hops here. So really solid beer. This is She Wolf from uh, Three Floyds and Half Acre. Really cool picture of uh, a pretty tough looking chick uh, with uh, five different wolves, you know, uh, on a leash, chain, a chain of course, because uh, you know, nothing but a full chain will hold these rabid wolves. Um, I'm, I'm assuming they're rabid. It just seems that they're exceptionally angry and nasty wolves. Um, cool. All right. Now, Stochasticity. Stochasticity Project. Grapefruit Slam IPA. Ale Grapefruit Peel added. No stone cap no mention of stone here at all which is kind of interesting um they have their own website set up for it um root and bottled by kuchen wagner's brewing company escondido san diego county california which is i think the technical legal name for stone brewing it's you know the name of the company that owns stone is this uh you know Oh, Cook, Cook and Vag, Cook and Wagner's Brewing Company. Uh, I think that's technically the, the name of the company that owns biz, uh, Stone and you know does business as Stone Brewing, but no mention of Stone. Interesting. Cool. All right. Uh, so this beer was bottled, I believe, about maybe uh, a week ago and uh, just was released uh, yesterday. Uh, this one uh, has a bottle on date of 2-7. It is now 2-21, so you're looking at two weeks old. Very, very fresh. I'm going to cap these because I am going to go back to the beer temple and share these with everyone today. So let's take a look at what we have. I forgot the uh, the little dump bucket here, uh, so that's why I finished it. I don't know if you took note of that. Um, so this is a brilliantly clear beer. A little bit more of that copper hue to it. Really nice looking beer. A uh, little bit uh, foamy as well. Um, just really nice looking in the glass. Whoa, man. It's got a sweet caramel note to it. 
undertone and clean. It's not like a sticky sweet note, but uh, and it plays with it, this big uh, citrus aroma, but not in the way I would have expected. Um, not like, you know, sniffing a, a grapefruit that you just had cut open, which is what I was expecting it to smell like. Much more um, of a balanced nose, uh, an intriguing nose. Um, as I smell it more, I'm getting some more, a little bit assertive pine note to it. A hint of like a woody note. And like a sweet caramel or a sweet like toasted bread thing. Bitter beer. Uh, I think I looked all online that this was 92 IBU, and it's quite bitter. The bitterness definitely hits you much earlier than it does here, and it continues to grow, and it's still growing even as I'm talking. Um, and uh, it definitely has this pithy grapefruit uh, bite to it as well. Yeah, I mean, it kind of tastes like a grapefruit peel, you know, uh, which I don't know if that's good or bad. Um, maybe a candied grapefruit peel or, you know what it tastes like? A, a portion of it had been candied and some of it hadn't been and then thrown in. Um, holy cow, is it bitter. Uh, really bitter. You do get a little bit more malt flavor from this one, where this one it was, it was really just kind of a crackery, bready note. This is more of a, a, a toasted, a biscuity. Uh, that's probably the word I was looking for earlier note. Uh, and a whole heck of a lot of grapefruit. It feels like if you peeled a grapefruit and you took all that white stuff, you know, took all that off and just ate a big mouthful of the white stuff, kind of tastes like that. Um, a little out of, ba out of balance for me for as you know, caramely and malty as I was expecting it to be, and as the, the nose, uh, expecting it to be, pardon me, bitterness is getting to me, uh, as, as the nose led me to believe, uh, you know, the actual flavor would have uh, malt-wise, the, uh, the bitterness still outstrips it a ton, and uh, it's, it's abrasive. Um, uh, it's uh, quite bitter. Don't like this one quite as much. I'm gonna go 89. Still a fine beer, maybe 88. Um, you know, it's 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 good. Um, you know, this one's good too. Neither of these I think are absolutely wonderful. Wow, they're great. In fact, this could probably go down to 90, something like that, 90, 91. Um, but still, you know, great great beers. And it, really, what it shows is, wow, how how competitive the IPA market is here now. Uh, these are two super fresh, super hopped up IPAs. There's nothing really wrong with them, but they're just not, for some reason, getting me. This one, I think, to, from my palate, is too bitter. Um, but uh, still, just tasting it, sounds like, feels like I'm sucking on like a grapefruit peel. Um, that's about it, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you found this interesting. Um, I've gotten some emails from you guys lately letting me know what types of shows you want to see more of, and I appreciate it. Sounds like you like the uh, style-driven shows, so I'll be giving you some more of those. Um, other than that, uh, that's about it, guys. Thanks so much. I'll have some little uh, little stoke. No, not stokecast. This lady. I want some she wolf. If I can get it. Oh, there we go. Uh, until next time, I've got some big, hoppy, grapefruity, petroly, double IPA to drink. And hopefully, you do too. See you guys.